This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hello, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today I'm going to be flipping through this mammoth of a journal. <laughs> This is my 2020 bullet journal, and I believe this is my fourth bullet journal because uh, I started in 2017, so this should be my fourth one. So this will be also the fourth flip through um, that I'll be doing, and I have a lot to get through, <laughs> but I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. But yeah, I used the Archer and Olive journal for my first time. Um, in the past I used Loystrom, but I wanted to make the switch and I'm so glad that I did and The pages held up really nicely. I am always worried about that because I scrapbook a lot on my journal So it becomes very large with all the pictures and everything pasted in but I love it I'm so glad I found out about their journals um, But yeah, I'm gonna just kind of start flipping through this was my like introduction page for 2020 and i just did this like little abstract doodle design i believe i used some copic sketch markers for that one and i did um kind of like a warm toned theme for all of the setup pages so on this one i did my little 2020 calendar which i always i always do a yearly calendar just to have like in the beginning of my bullet journal and I went along with a kind of warm colored theme for my future log and did this little rosy theme which I love this is definitely my favorite future log um, theme that I've done and then for the rest of the months I did uh, this little moon and starry theme for the rest of the future log which turned out really cute I kind of wish I did a warm toned theme for that one as well but uh, that's okay. I kind of carried it on anyway in my Polaroids yearly spread um, and I got this idea from Amanda Rachel Lee and What she does is basically takes a Polaroid from each month and pastes it in like this overall spread and what I do is I use my little Instax share printer and uh, I just print each kind of like photo out that I want for the month to remember it by just because sometimes I don't like always have my Polaroid camera laying around or like bringing it with me. So this is just an easy way to kind of like print them out and paste them in and I don't have to worry about like taking my <laughs> Polaroid camera everywhere. And moving on to January, I did this starry kind of like night theme and I embossed some stars on a painting. I love embossing things. I just forgot to re-emboss the print so I'm gonna still have to do that. But moving on to the bulk of the journal, my weekly spreads, um, I love using like stickers and washi tape and a lot of pictures to kind of liven up my spreads and have them have like a kind of scrapbooky feel to them. This is my sticker and washi tape collection, which are from a lot of my favorite artists and companies that I love. They're all so beautiful and they make my spreads so much better. So I'll try to link uh, where I got pretty much all my washi tapes and stickers from in my description box because I definitely want to shout them out. Um, and this is a little sun acrylic painting that I did and this is one of my favorites just because of the tones of the like tans and pinks. Uh, in the colors. I definitely started straying away from my blue phase. I would solely paint with blue for like the longest time and a very specific blue at that. It was the color Payne's Gray if anyone remembers and I loved that but I have branched out now and I'm using more colors than just that one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, these are a couple more of my weekly spreads. I did like a healthy food slash dinner schedule on the right side, which I really want to do again, actually. I'm getting more and more ideas for my 2021 journal just by looking at my past journals. Um, but this was my theme for March. I did a little meadow mountain range theme and this like dreamy purple color and some greens and blues. This was definitely the one of the starts of like my landscape painting phase because <laughs> later on I went on to like create so many more landscape paintings and I loved it and I think my favorite weekly spreads that I do are ones where I just find a bunch of 
scrap paper from like paintings that I've done or like just random things and I put them together in a spread and they always turn out so like warm and cozy so I always save my like painting scraps just in case and from here on out, it is going to be a lot different um, of spreads. I remember quarantine started and then soon after Animal Crossing New Horizons came out. And I pretty much played Animal Crossing like every day for the next like couple months. Just like everyone else pretty much in the world at that time. Um, and so yeah, things were definitely different then. I... Uh, was trying to figure out how to use my bullet journal um, at this time just because I did so much scrapbooking in my bullet journal. I'm so not used to using my bullet journal as like what it's kind of meant to be which is uh, you know a to-do list or a planner or like a bullet list of items that I need to get done. Um, but now I didn't have any pictures to put in and I didn't have any, you know, things to really journal about because I was literally just playing Animal Crossing and making videos. And so I started, you know, doing some like gardening spreads. I did turnip prices for my Animal Crossing turnip exchange. Uh, I tried to do some journaling here and there. A lot of it consisted of just like random pictures uh, the few pictures that I took each month. But, um, yeah, as you can see at this time, I didn't really use my bullet journal. But one thing I knew I didn't want to do was give it up completely, um, because bullet journaling is like my artistic outlet. Each month I get to create a painting, um, that I put like everything into and it kind of forces me to sit down and do that painting um and i it's just one of my favorite things so i definitely didn't give it up i just kind of used it in a different way and some of the spreads were kind of lackluster like this one <laughs> just a list of ideas and then others when i actually did go out and do things like this uh week i think was our first kind of week away it was our eight year anniversary so we went to the ranch and also quarantine so we could see my family again on mother's day um so there were definitely moments i wanted to still kind of like keep in my journal uh and this spread was my height of my mushroom painting phase or not the height but the start for sure uh, i did this like kind of like mushroom foraging leaf spread and i carried it out into my my weekly spreads for sure. Uh, I made all these like fall stickers that I wanted to paste in and I just was fully embracing the fall season in literal June. <laughs> I couldn't wait. Um, and for my birthday month, I did a little ocean spread, which is just one of my favorite things to paint, just because I grew up watching my grandpa, who's a watercolor artist, paint these incredible ocean scenes and I always wanted to learn how to paint water and it's just always so relaxing to paint so I um, I'll always try to do an ocean painting at least once a year and uh, I went along with the ocean theme and did some ocean themed spreads uh, pasted in some cute little Pinterest photos and then the few times that I actually went out and did something exciting I would definitely document it in my journal and I tried to make them as cute as can be because they they were definitely few and far between <laughs> at that time because uh, we were still hardcore quarantining pretty much um, but yeah around this time I also started streaming on twitch so I made a little stream schedule I kept going with the mushroom themes because I couldn't stop drawing them and uh, on the next spread I did a whole spread about getting bangs. One morning I just finally decided to cut my own bangs and it was just, that was that. Was that. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of people's quarantine experiences, just doing random things just to like have some sort of change uh, in our lives. At one point I wanted to dye my own hair pink, but I'm glad that didn't happen because I do not trust myself with a hair dye. I've never done it, but I know it would turn out badly. So thank goodness for that one. But the bangs turned out great. But um, yeah, this was around the time that I 
started to make a lot more uh, Pantone swatch paintings, so I did this little challenge where I was supposed to paint a Pantone painting every day, but that did not work out for me. <laughs> I was not that motivated, um, but I did do a lot of cute Pantone paintings that I kind of stuck all over my journal. Um, and then finally, it was the start of fall, and I started doing more kind of like Halloween-y fall themed spreads. And so I pretty much did orange on all of these spreads, which I'm honestly not a huge fan of like bright orange like this, but um, I wanted to keep up with the theme. And you notice on each of the like blank pages, I just write these cute little like one word or few word quotes uh, just to have something on the pages. Um, usually I keep them blank just in case I need to add another like scrapbook spread later on um, of like a trip that I forgot to fill in or something, but that's why those are there. And on these next pages, I used a bunch of gouache paintings to just kind of like warm up each page. And these pictures were all from when we took our very first big trip since COVID had started. And we went to Hawaii, which was so fun. We were able to quarantine and then take COVID tests. And pretty much no one was there at that time. So it was just like so amazing. It felt like we had the whole island pretty much to ourselves. And a couple weeks after that, we had Thanksgiving and then I, uh, we got our Christmas tree, <laughs> which is so early, but this was our Nick and I's first ever year living together. It was such a special year and was definitely like so amazing to just kind of like get thrown into it especially because we had a quarantine pretty much 24 7 together <laughs> for months on end um and it, it was just like i wanted to end the year with you know this big holiday season that we kind of like were able to spend together so i definitely went all out and i did a ton of decorating we watched a ton of pretty much every christmas movie you could think of and it was just such a special way to end the year um but yeah that was the end of the year and the end of my bullet journal for 2020 I hope you guys enjoyed flipping through with me. I always love flipping through my old bullet journals and sharing it with you guys. Um, and before I leave, I want to talk about Squarespace, who is the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace is an online platform that allows you to create your own website and they're so easy to use. You can host your own online shop on it. You can have people subscribe to your emailing list. They have a ton of different templates that you can choose from that they've already curated for you to make your website look aesthetic and beautiful. So whether you want to create a website for your own shop or a blog or whatever it may be, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jenny journals for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in just a couple of days for my um, September bullet journal setup.